My name is Desiree. I'm a St. Anne Phlebotomy student. Do I have permission to draw your blood? Yes, you do. Okay, can you please state your name and date of birth? It's Jocelyn Garcia, 92491. Okay, I'm going to go wash my hands and glove up. I'll be right back. Okay. And you can use the gel sanitizer twice before you have to wash your hands. On preference. I'm going to be doing a syringe draw. I'm going to make sure the alcohol is dry, otherwise, it's hard to put on your pulse. Take a look, put the tourniquet four inches above the site. Okay, make a fist. Okay, she has a vein that's right here. You can't see it, but you can feel it. And it goes in a slanted direction slightly. My landmark will be that surface vein. Her cephalic is actually much better, so it goes just like that. You can kind of see it right there. It's a little blue, and I have her hand positioned down. Okay, keep your hand just like that for me, please. Sight, wipe down once, counterclockwise, concentric circles after I flip over the alcohol. So because I'm going to be drawing her cephalic, all of my equipment is going to be on the left side since I'm right-handed. I'm going to be using a syringe. So the equipment I need with my syringe is a transfer device, a syringe, and a syringe needle. So I want to make sure that when I open up my syringe, I don't contaminate the two adapter pieces. So I make sure that I just, I don't touch them. And I leave my needle in the packaging. I also wanna make sure that I push up on the syringe to clear any um, air or any um, sticking that the um, rubber piece may do to the barrel and I also want to make sure that I open up my transfer device but I leave it in the packaging because I don't want to contaminate the adapter either. I'm going to leave the transfer device by my tubes because I don't need my tubes by me at this time. 
so I won't need to actually put the glove there, but I can place it here. Okay, so now I can take out my needle. And you kind of want to make sure that you have your needle, when you take um, the safety device off, when you pull back this um, safety device, you know your bevel is going to be up, so you want to make sure that you have it in a position where you can see your numbers. So if it was sideways, it would be hard for me to see my numbers. Does it feel dry? Yes. Okay. Time to turn the kit again, four inches above the site. Okay, make a fist, put your arm straight. Pulling back my safety device, pulling off my cap, inspecting my needle for any defects, anchoring the vein, laying the needle down, threading it in, pulling back on my plunger. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. Once you pull back, back about a mill, you want to make sure that you pop your tourniquet and then the uh, rule of thumb is pull a mill, let it fill. I don't want to pull too fast because I don't want the blood to hemolyze. Because I'm only doing two tubes, I don't need the full syringe. You're going to pull the needle out, activate the safety device with your finger. Go ahead and apply pressure, please. Take the needle off, discard it immediately. Get your transfer device the entire time keeping your syringe up so you don't spill. Also not contaminating either adapter site. I didn't fill the full syringe, so I want to make sure that I control my uh, plunger and I don't let this one tube take all my blood. Once I fill my tubes, I'm going to discard the entire unit. And I'm going to label my tubes. I'm going to put the medical record number, the date, the time, my initials, and the test. Going to label the tubes accordingly, making sure that I don't put the label on crooked. Are you on any blood thinners? No. Okay, I'm going to check the patient's site. Please apply pressure. Because the patient is not on any blood thinners, I'm going to use a bandage or tape depending on what the site has. Okay, please keep this bandage on for 15 to 20 minutes and no heavy lifting for the next two hours. So, can you please verify that this is your name and date of birth? Yes. Okay. And how about this one? Yep. Okay. Are you feeling okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you're all done.